Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Darkest Hour. I do apologize that there was a lot of time between uh, the episodes here. I've got a lot of series going on the channel right now, and uh, sometimes it's hard to uh, find time to record one thing or another. So we're in a pretty bad situation. We got ourselves a good defensive line, and uh, let's see. Can we go train map mode? Okay. Let's see here. Frozen. Frozen. Plains fro okay, plains frozen, forest frozen. Ah, it's a shame that this is all well, that's mountain right there. That's good. It's plains, plains. Yeah, it's mostly plains, and I was I was mostly interested in the uh the the river crossings when I was looking at our defensive line there. I wasn't really looking at the train map mode, which I should have been doing, but anyway. Um, a lot of people have suggested because this, with the the French breaching um, our side of the the defenses in the south, and uh, most of our troops uh, distracted, holding back the like rampaging Russian Russian hordes over here, that I go back and maybe replay the beginning of the game off off camera and fix some of the mistakes I made. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is wait to the end of this episode and see where we are and uh, then make a choice then. So right now what I need to do is focus on the uh, the French right here because they definitely are causing me some problems. I need to I need to plug this this hole right here. I got every I got, there's no way I have everybody moving there. No. Got some of them moving down, but not everybody. I'm assuming the French are going to try to breach the line here. Uh, is is Well, they already did breach it. We just need to hold that, that army corps back. I need more infantry in the field. I need more planes in the air. I need my pets to stop going batshit crazy behind me. Penny! There we go. <laughs> Sorry. They're calm and sleeping until the second I start recording, and then my dog starts running laps on the couch, and the cat's screaming his head off, of course. I mean, this battle, even though we were crossing a river here, we seem to be doing halfway decent. Seven, well, it's seven German divisions versus five French. Hmm. I got some some close air support over here I could do something with. Create a new unit. Make sure there's somebody in charge of it. There we go. Let's bring him in over here. Let's at least let him do something. Let's see. Um... They will attack enemy units and target and strike their communication to those Druze organizations, so ground support. Okay. Okay, good. Go get him. How are we doing over here? Uh, so we retreated out successfully. I think right here... Oh, we do have more. We have uh, tanks moving up. Why don't we take one of these guys and move him down? Like so, and hopefully the Russians won't be able to bust through here. I kind of think they might be able to, and we might be on our last leg, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so let's knock the supplies down just a little bit and lock it there. Need seven. So there we go. Alright, everything else is, is good. Unpause that. So we're bombarding the French here. They brought in two more. So the, they're really throwing their divisions into this. So now it's seven to seven. This guy... Let's see. Distance 122 kilometers will arrive March 10th. Four days. And the French are bombing us here. All right, let's try this. Support attack. Let's get these guys in here. We need, we need to to plug that gap, and we could actually... Oh, shit. They're attacking other spots on the line. I mean, the, the more they... The more they uh, move their troops along the line, because they have more, you know, you know, out and spread the line out, the worse it's going to be for us, because... Ten French divisions are going to be able to quash these four. 
pretty simple, like... I got eight here who aren't doing anything. I've got four there. Let's try this. Attack. Let's see if we can't do something here. Let's see, support attack. Maybe if we distract them enough. We got eight, and then we got four more here. Support attack. All right, so the British are in here now. We've got seven there. All right, so we are winning this one. That's good to know. This one is the one I'm mostly worried about at the moment. Uh, so we're going to go here, attack from this flank. Go to, all right. Oh, the Soviets and their scary, scary doom stacks. Scary, scary, scary doom stacks. I was so terrified about the Russians, and now I come back and the French are doing bad things. Defenders have made 53.8%, so the defenders have a little bit of an uh, advantage here. They're doing better than I am. Uh, this is the middle of winter, and well, now, they're, now they got the, my own forts, I think. Let's see. Experience, mountain, some mountain terrain, Ugh. night, leadership, dug in. Uh, yeah, minus 29. Oh, the fortifications are barely making any difference there. Alright, so get in, uh, get in on that, attack from the side. 12, 12 on 12, and we're not having that good of a time here. All of our divisions are fully engaged on the Maginot line. It's like, I feel like I've got the, the Russians stalled, but they're just moving their troops up. Uh, so we lost most of our bombers in that. They, they were unescorted and there was only one of them, so we lost most of our bombers there. New trait, Commander Fleck has become a Mountaineer Select. That was this guy. Oh, because he's attacking into a mountain. A revolt? Are Really? Oh, the Poles, yeah. Run, I just, my, the fastest division I got. Go over there. Attack them, see what you can do about it. Alright, so we gotta cancel this, because it's not getting us anywhere. Will they still, they'll still support attack? Uh, we, Germany inflicted about 10,000 casualties, took about 12,000. So that was a, a failed attack there. Yeah, I think the French have got us here. Uh, success... We destroyed Division de Faze in France. Where? We destroyed a French division? We destroy. Uh, apparently, we destroyed a French uh, core here. So you move in there. How are we doing here? Uh, Ten on eight. 18, no, that's 18 on 8, and 17 on 5. So I'm pretty sure that uh, the French have completely wrecked us here. Man, the French have got a lot of divisions in the field. Well, it wouldn't be as bad if I wasn't fighting a two-front war, but I am fighting a two-front war. So I'm, I'm thinking the, uh, the idea is to not poke the Russians in the eye with a stick so that you can focus on one front at a time proper like see now we're getting attacked here oh no we did fine there it didn't give me a combat log huh I expected it to let me know who had died there but it didn't I mean look at the, sh the sheer weight of numbers here with the French 
And we're under attack here as well. Everybody's under attack. Let's see. Sync that up. Attack. See if we can't slow them down. 14 German divisions attacking 18 French divisions. We're actually making progress there, too. Seven. Uh, they're still they're still attacking here. Still attacking there. This is a bad one. Basic anti-air. Not that I don't think that's going to make much of a difference at this point. I mean, I think we could just plop them in somewhere. Start giving them div to divisions. Victory. Uh, that was that province there. Um, France inflicted 2,500 casualties and took 4,500, so let's cancel that for now. I don't want to get distracted by this, and I, frankly, I think this is pretty much at an end, so let's see if we can drive the French back here. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Really? You can't move? That's There's not a crossing right here? Those don't touch each other? Okay. All right, what do we got? 21 German divisions attacking uh, 19 French. Slowly, slowly making progress there. Partisans go to. I got those taken out. Okay. Partisans were easy. I mean, we did destroy a French army corps. It was a small one, 10,000 men, but they were destroyed. Looks like our organization is a little on the downside here. It's a pretty even battle. The defender's progress is decaying out. Every ticket goes down. So we're making progress. The, 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 the ticket is, are we going to make enough progress? Which one was that? Well, that was this one here. We won. We won that defensive battle. Let's see, the French organization is lower than ours here, so we might be able to hold out. And the French organization... Well, no, that's... Hunger oh. Are they the, the main participant here? Oh, did they, re they relaunched an attack here immediately. Meanwhile, on the Soviet front, nothing's happening. I mean, maybe I can run some tanks over here real quick. See if they can do anything against the French. I mean, all my armor's over here, just sitting on the Soviet front. I mean, I, I think we got... I think we've got them stalled, at least, on a shorter defensive line, but that leaves this pretty minuscule amounts of troops over here, comparatively. 21 on 21. Alright, so that is actually going in their favor now. We're starting to take some pretty bad organizational losses. It's a shame that they've got 20 divisions sitting on a mountain, which means it's almost impossible to attack it. They actually do have mountain troops in there, too. Bleh. Looks like my organization on the whole is pretty good now. It's a little lower than theirs, I think. Do we lose? You guys retreating? No, the Germans are still fighting here. That's, that's a pretty big battle. That's 45 divisions fighting in one province. Well, not in one province, but over one province. And animals. Man, if you guys could be a little bit more graceful, that'd be great. Uh, what is this? Oh, I was about to say, what is the... I didn't see the, the blue, because it was cut off by the top of the screen, and it was just a white and red flag, and I was like, the poles? 
All right, cat, cat, cat. All right, come here, come here, cat. There we go. Uh, lost a battle against superior forces. <sighs> yeah. Sheer weight of numbers is my problem. Yeah, we, they just broke through here. Twenty. They got like twenty divisions on every single province. Well, you know what? They've got their entire armed forces split down between like three, four provinces. Well, I've got mine, you know, I've got a lot of men over here, but they're just sitting defending against the Ruskies. 12, 10, 11, 24, 17, 8. Oh, come on. These guys should be perfectly fine here defending in a mountain. Schnell division. And my, I got mountain troops and mountain provinces. They should be fine. I mean, these guys are getting bombed right now, so I'm putting in anti-aircraft guns. Huh? Eh. There we go. Defeat. God damn it. Uh, France. Well, that was about a one to one. Germany uh, inflicted thirty-six thousand casualties and took and took forty thousand. Yeah, look at that. That is a full-on, because they, they took this one, and they took that one. Uh, there is going to be no stopping up that gap there, I don't think. Um, oh, Hero, Hero was worried so much about the Russians breaking through. Didn't really think the French coming through the, uh, the, defen the prepared defenses there were going to be that big of a deal, but sheer weight of numbers is what did me in. Uh, I had, you know, they had a river crossing penalty and they had to attack into a mountain and all that good stuff, but, uh, you, you know, modifiers are only going to get you so far when you've got 20 divisions fighting against 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Only going to get you so far. Organization's all low. Strength is really low. They took massive casualties. 18, 18. Ah. Boo. I can I can't get these troops off of this line because then the Russians will storm through. That's what's the, that's what's bad. I would love to send them over to fight the French. Any means sight in Kerningsberg. Yes, I'm overpronouncing it purposely. Oh, that's very problematic too. Which one was this? Uh, inflicted... So that was almost exactly one for one. Danzig Bay versus the Soviet Union, so... there's that, That's what happened here. So we, we did manage to... Hold them off. And, and force them back. To their side of the defensive lines, in one province. And then they immediately... Turned it around, and managed to... Uh, let's see... Germany... Oh! Germany inflicted zero, took... We lost three battleships and 19 destroyers. Annihilated by the enemy, yep. They forced out the troops there. This is getting worse and worse and worse. And by the troops, I mean the ships. I, I'm definitely leaning towards restarting the game and kind of replaying through the start of it uh, maybe and make some better choices now that I know how uh, certain mechanics of the game work and things of that nature. Um, I, know, I know I told you guys before, this is the first time I've played this game and it was on screen. Normally I like to, you know, uh, 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 wet myself with a game for uh, a little while before playing it on the channel, but I'm just, I kind of ran out of time and I really wanted to play this. Definitely need more fighters. Uh, and just straight up more infantry. To, I just need more boots on the ground. I think I was focused on tanks too early and trying to get some of them out and getting everybody upgraded. Yeah, and yeah, they just took Trier. Trier, famous for its cavalry in ancient times. The Treveri Cavalry. Used to be uh, Caesar's personal bodyguard. 
Yeah, they've broken through. Now they're just on the move. No, not you. You. Let's see if we can't... No. Versberg. Yes, I, I know they're there. I am fully well aware of where the French are. That's a, that's a breakthrough right there. There's nobody, you know, to the north and... Yeah, to the north, uh, there's basically nobody there. Seriously, I thought the problem was going to be the Soviet hordes. No offense to fellow Slavs out there. Calling them hordes all the time. Looks like the British dropped off a couple more troops. Hmm. This is definitely, uh... The end. Oh, they're they're counterattacking. They're counterattacking, and they're doing a damn good fine job of it too. Well, no, no, no. That's my organization. Shit. Is that those British planes? Yeah. Well, it's... Now they get to deal with all the, uh, upset people there. And the partisans. Oh, yeah. I'm getting attacked from multiple directions now. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... That's a huge French breakthrough right there. Send in the panzers. Oh, well, now uh, the, the 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 tanks are surprisingly effective against the French in open fields. It's very surprisingly effective. I mean, look at the progress they're making in this battle. Well, it looks like it's stalled out at fifty some odd percent a little bit, but we could. I mean, that's just with the three Panzer divisions, the Panzer Corps there. Could give a support attack from the flank. Defeat. Defeat. Victory! <laughs> In Darmstadt. Right there. Those tanks got in there. Next, did they move in more divisions? They must have. How are we doing here? Oh, they, uh... Looks like they stopped the attack. Maybe it wasn't going as planned. I mean, I would love to actually stop this up. I, mean, I, I the, the, the Panzers, like I said, they're... I'm a little surprised how well they did against the, um... The French positions. Support attack. Alright, you move in here. Victory. Defeat. Frankfurt on mods. There, there. Attacking. Good. Support attack. Let's see, you're gonna go here and you'll hit from there. Let's see if we can't... I mean, there's not much... Stopping the French at this point. I'm, I'm just trying to give them a good what for. In whatever situation I can't. Actually get this attack going. Maybe we can cut off a couple French divisions that have made their way into Germany. If we take this province and this one, we'd cut these guys off. And then maybe we could work on destroying them. That would severely weaken the French position. Where are my other tanks? Because they're not doing anybody any good sitting, waiting for the Russians to attack. Oh, unless when they are... Wait, no, they're just getting bombed. I'm about to say, unless the Russians are attacking right now. Um, defeat in Frankfurt. Defeat. 
We gotta get him somewhere. Uh, well, cancel that. Um, control? Yes, strategic deployment. Victory against the Britties. Why do I got so many divisions right here? Did we retreat? Did we retreat out of this one? Oh, that must be, we must have lost that battle. Let's see, you guys are not doing anything, so... Let's see. Uh, let's support this. This I think this attack is more important. Uh, the, the the French that have broken through, I've kind of given given that up. If I can push back to the original Maginot area, I think we could cut off these divisions and prevent the fr and, and and starve them out. Let's see. Our we have an infantry division here. We can deploy. Let's pause this. Let's see. You can support skill level five. Can it tell me exactly. Deploy them there. Redeploying, they'll arrive April 17th. That's really not that long. Artillery. Well, you know what would be, uh, I, I, you know, I think is better is, like, go to, let's see, grab the 17th Infantry Division and go, you know what you need? Artillery. Okay. Let them get the organization back. This battle is one I'm pretty focused on right now. That's 50, if, well, you know what would be nice if, it, I, I'm pretty sure they would retreat back this way, but if they retreated north and we cut off 15 French divisions in Germany, uh, then we would ha we have a pretty good chance of destroying them. I I understand. That's okay. And again, we're having people kind of sit back and, well, let's actually go to economy and make sure our reinforcements are taken care of. Okay. Well, you know what? I might give this... Yeah, I still think that we're, we're going to lose this. I'm, I'm, I know we're going to lose this, but... Hang on, sorry, cat. Jesus Christ, cat. No, you're not going to knock my microphone out of the way right now. I'm working. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, we're, we're pretty much out of time here. I think I'm going to give this another episode because I am trying, kind of starting to have some fun here with the French. Like I said, we're going to lose it, but if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we'll be able to uh, really, def you know, you know not knock the French a severe blow before we're, we're out, uh, which I think will be fun. So everybody's involved here. You're under attack by four divisions. You're under attack by six. You are not under attack by your organization's strength is low. We've got those tanks coming in, and they're going to be nice and fresh. So hopefully they'll make a bit of a difference. I found that the tanks we have in here have been very effective against the French so far. So everybody, if you have enjoyed this episode, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Darkest Hour, please just drop me a no, I already did my outro. Man, I am out of it right now. I'm distracted by animals. Subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time. Yeah, that's how you end an outro.